Welcome back to Now Media's TV show, Pain Diaries, broadcasting here in Houston, Texas. We are back to talk with Dr. Kieran Patel, talking about Abbott's DRG therapy. Dr. Patel is the Director of Pain Medicine at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City. She also runs a fellowship program, training doctors wanting to pursue their careers in pain medicine. Thank you, Dr. Patel, for being with us today. We are so excited to have you here on the show. Thank you, Dr. Mansi. I'm so excited to be here. It's wonderful to see you. You too. So I've had the privilege of knowing you for many years now. We've had, we've had collaboration in many events, especially the Women Innovators in Pain Management and the North American Neuromodulation yeah. Society. I'm grateful to have had the opportunity to facilitate the education and mentorship of other doctors with you. Yeah, it's been a wonderful opportunity. You know, we're, uh, being involved in society not only helps us stay current on the latest technology, but it also helps us um, deal with a lot of issues about access to care and, and um, challenges that we all face um, in medical practice. Absolutely. So today, I mean, since you are regarded as one of the world leaders in dorsal root ganglion neuromodulation, you're the DRG queen, right? Can you explain to the audience what DRG is and how it works to relieve chronic knee pain? Sure. So dorsal root ganglion stimulation is a chronic uh, proven pain therapy uh, recommended by doctors to help manage their chronic pain and improve their quality of life. The DRG um, devices are actually in implanted into a patient's spine um, with the goal of interrupting pain signals by, that are transmitted from the periphery to the brain um, by using mild electrical sim um, signals at the level of the DRG. Um, this activates the, it modulates rather, the primary sensory neurons and decreases the painful signals as they arise to the brain. Um, this therapy has been demonstrated to be beneficial in um, a double-blind randomized control study uh, known as the ACCURATE study in patients who have complex regional pain syndrome uh, types 1 and types 2. These might be patients who have had, uh, despite surgery, to relieve pain. Um, they have chronic burning, uh, constant pain, and this may be pain that's after surgical procedures, um, including a hernia repair, whether it's a total knee replacement, a hip replacement, foot and ankle surgery, uh, pelvic pain or trauma, um, or lower extremity amputations. It's also been useful for patients who've had um, traumatic injuries of the hip, the knee, um, as well as um, patients who have chronic neuropathic pain, that pain that's just burning and you know constant, not amenable to more conservative therapies. Absolutely. And I know, you know, both of us being neuromodulators in the field, um, we want to help people's nerve pain and we want to offer them the best technology that's out there. And we both do a lot of spinal cord stimulation as well. So let's kind of go into the thoughts of where we use the DRG differently than we use spinal cord stimulation. Yeah, that's a great question about who is a candidate for spinal cord stimulation and who is a candidate for dorsal root ganglion stimulation. Well, I would say patients who have more widespread pain and, and neuropathic pain, uh, burning pain, you know, shooting, radiating, um, that kind of pain, if they have it in, say, both lower extremities or both upper extremities um, in a wider distribution, they would be better candidates for spinal cord stimulation. Whereas patients who have very focal, very localized neuropathic pain, again, that type of burning, constant radiating pain, uh, would be better suited by uh, dorsal root ganglion stimulation. And in fact, what dorsal root ganglion stimulation is FDA indicated for are those who have CRPS types one and types two. CRPS standing for complex regional pain syndrome, um, which is characterized by this type of burning neuropathic pain that can result from traumatic injuries, um, nerve damage, or surgery itself. No, absolutely. I completely agree with you. And that's, that's always when I choose it too. I mean, that's pretty much where we go for the focal versus more the widespread distribution for spinal cord stimulation versus the DRG, because it's so specific. You're getting that single double level, some, some bleed over here and there, um, which is nice. But again, when it's all that widespread pain, spinal cord stimulation is where we go to. But the focal pain, I mean, what a slam dunk with the DRG. It's been great for a lot Absolutely. of my patients as well as yours. 
Um, yeah, I mean, the patients really describe it as if a, a signal has been switched and their mm -hmm. pain has been turned off. And for both therapies, we do a temporary trial, right? We, right. we place a temporary device that is then, you know, either taped or sutured to the skin and um, the patient goes home and uses it from anywhere, typically from five to seven days. And as early as those five to seven days, patients with the dorsal root ganglion stimulation are able to say that, you know, they feel like their pain is significantly decreased or some even say they feel like their pain has been wiped away. Right. I mean, I have, I completely agree. I mean, the, the therapy is definitely life-changing for people, especially once it kind of blends in after that second, third day when the dorsal root ganglion stem is turned on. And the trial is great. I mean, you try it before you buy it, right? It's like test driving that car. You want to know if it's really going to work for you. Exactly. And both dorsal root ganglion stimulation and spinal cord stimulation are effective to treat, you know, chronic or persistent neuropathic pain. It's just very specific as to which mm -hmm. which therapy um, is better suited um, based on the patient's history and based on their the diagnosis that they have. So some people really find a life-changing event after they have a total knee replacement or they have just really severe knee arthritis with a com neuropathic type component. And I found that targeting those patients with the knee symptoms, because you can specifically just get directly to the knee with the DRG, which in the past we haven't been able to really target with the spinal cord stimulation because it doesn't wrap around to the front as well. Um, and so the benefits using DRG compared to the traditional treatments for knee pain have really been revolutionized by this therapy. So can you go into that a little bit more? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Dr. Manzi. So, you know, patients who have had total knee replacements, um, sometimes they, you know, despite the best structural um, replacement, they still have persistent neuropathic pain. Um, and this can be something that most patients aren't always expecting when they go in. You know, their knee is structurally sound, they feel more stable on their knee, but they still have some type of burning, gnawing pain that, that persists. Um, and for those patients, dorsal root ganglion stimulation can be very useful because it can capture the very different components of knee pain. Um, so depending on if a patient has pain on the inner part of their leg or the outer part um, or below the kneecap or in the back of the knee, uh, we're able to very focally target where the pain is. Uh, similarly, for patients who are not candidates for knee replacements, um, in some cases, this has been quite useful, where, where either they have other comorbidities that prevent them from having the actual surgery. Right. And I mean, they've, if they haven't had the knee replacement, you know, we've, tr we've tried steroids, we've tried visco supplementation with hyaluronic acid injections, we've tried radiofrequency ablation over those nerves. And there's, there's so many different options that we now have that we haven't had even, didn't even have five to 10 years ago. But I mean, the DRG Absolutely. really gets that neuropathic component of the knee pain. And unfortunately, yeah, 20 to 30% of knee replacements still suffer. So it's great that we have these technologies now. Absolutely, by no means is dorsal root ganglion stimulation a first line therapy for patients with knee pain. You're absolutely right that, you know, it starts with physical therapy, steroid injections, possibly visco supplementation with hyaluronic acid, um, radio frequency of the genicular nerves, physical therapy. And then if this pain persists, patients may be a candidate for dorsal root ganglion stimulation, particularly if it's pain that is following a knee replacement. Absolutely. Well, Dr. Patel, you just started your new job at Lenox Hill Hospital. Can you tell patients how they can get in touch with you? Sure. So uh, you can contact me uh, via my website, Kieran V. Patel, MD, um, and um, visit all of the information on the website. It talks a lot about neuromodulation. Um, I have founded a center in New York City. It's called the New York City uh, Neuromodulation Center of Excellence. And basically, it's an opportunity for patients to come in and have all of their symptoms evaluated and to determine what potential treatment may be best for them. Um, and, and many of those treatments are neuromodulation, but many of them are non-neuromodulation as well. Amazing, that's so exciting. I can't wait to check out your new website. 
Thank you so much for having me on your show. And uh, I think it's wonderful what you're doing here, educating patients. Um, and I keep up the great work. Thank you, you too. And we are so excited that you were here with us today. We thank you for all the information about DRG stimulation for chronic knee pain with Abbott. And I'm so happy you were able to join us today for this amazing interview. So if you are looking for an amazing pain doctor in New York City, Dr. Patel, she comes highly recommended. Remember, I'm Dr. Suzanne Manzi with Performance Pain and Sports Medicine in Houston, Texas, and this is Pain Diaries. Take care of you so you can take care of business.